typical traffic here on Capitol. This is, I'd say, average to light traffic on Capitol, actually, considering what's normally on here. Capitol Boulevard connects Wake Forest to downtown Raleigh, and it, a lot of areas, some of the areas is actually considered Wake Forest, some areas are Raleigh, but we're crossing over the News River now, and now we are definitely in the city of Raleigh. Here on the left heading north is more typical traffic that you'll see on a weekday rush hour type afternoon commute on Capitol Boulevard. We are approaching the intersection of Interstate 540 here on Capitol. We're heading south from Wake Forest into Raleigh. You can see 540 on the bridge above, cars moving across, that truck's blocking a little bit. But eventually this Capitol Boulevard should be a limited access highway between 540 and 98 in Wake Forest, similar to 540 the way it is now, just without all the traffic lights. And I'm sure that's gonna be a process to get that done when it's time to do construction. We're approaching Millbrook Road here on Capitol Boulevard, heading south towards Raleigh, uh, towards downtown Raleigh, I should say. We're in Raleigh. That next green light up there is Millbrook. Sorry, that was actually Spring Forest Road. I'm, I made a mistake. The one up here is Millbrook. We just passed under Spring Forest Road and we are approaching the intersection of Millbrook Road right up here at this green traffic light. This is an interesting intersection up here. This is the intersection where 401 and Capitol Boulevard converge. I'm gonna to need to move over because this lane is ending. See how the road goes up high there? It's because that road on the other side is crossing over 401. You can see junction 401 up here. Cars tend to stack up a lot at this traffic light. This first traffic light after they converge, you'll see all the cars. Lots and lots of vehicles. There they are. Looks like we've got a red light down there. Got to be careful. People are constantly changing lanes in this area. Moving in and out of their lane. There's one right here. Here you see some more typical traffic volume for a weekday rush hour. Up here. Car the car. The road is just full of cars, car, full of vehicles, everywhere. Approaching 440 now. Here's 440 intersection coming right up here. These two lanes here break off on the right. You go off to 440. If you want to stay on Capitol, you got to stay in these left two lanes. And then we'll be heading what they call ITB inside the belt line. Inside of 440 is the inner belt line. The 540 belt line is not yet complete, but it will be in the next few years probably. Okay, we're now inside the belt line. About to cross over Crabtree Creek and the Crabtree Greenway right here. All right, we're continuing. The road starts to get a little rough here. We're approaching what used to be known as Porn Island. It's in the middle of the road where the road divides and there's stores in the middle of the road just past this traffic light. But the city's been buying up most of the land and it's been in a floodplain, so they have to close those stores anyway and it won't be known as that much longer. The road pulls apart, you can see, and this is what's known as Porn Island. It used to have a lot of uh, stores, like adult stores and cheap hotels and pawn shops but they, I think they're closing down all these places it's gonna be like some kind of a park or grand entranceway to downtown Raleigh since downtown Raleigh is just beyond here so we're almost there just about downtown Raleigh you've seen it all Wake Forest to downtown Raleigh on Capitol